If president, I'll also work with the people in this room as I have for the past four years to champion a federal marriage amendment to protect marriage as the union of a man and a woman. You probably know the history here. It was within months of uh, taking office as the governor of Massachusetts that the uh, Supreme Judicial Court of our state got the gay marriage ball rolling. They said it was in our state constitution. Now John Adams, who wrote our state constitution, would be surprised. It was not in our constitution, but it was in the heads of uh, a one vote majority of the bench to birth a new law without the benefit of democracy. The court's error, I believe, was that it focused on adult rights. It said, you know, if heterosexual couples can marry, then, of course, homosexual couples, to have equal rights, have to also be able to marry. But what they forgot was that one of the primary purposes of marriage is the development and nurturing of children. Every child deserves a mother and a father. Now, the court's opinion is as, just as astonishing as its ruling. It said that traditional marriage between a man and a woman, and now I quote, works a deep and scarring relationship, excuse me, works a deep and scarring hardship for no rational reason. For no rational reason? How about the strength and preservation of a civilization? And <laughs> And of course, you know, this is no longer just a Massachusetts issue. You saw the decision of a, uh, a judge in Iowa just recently. They said gay couples have the, the right to marry there as well because the current marriage law, and again, I quote, operates only to harm same-sex couples and their children. Think of that. The courage, current marriage law operates only to harm same-sex couples and their children. Simply astonishing. Now, after the ruling in Massachusetts, I went to Washington and I testified in favor of a fair federal marriage amendment. I wrote every Republican U.S. Senator, asked them to support it. Even some of our own, however, voted against it. Make no mistake on this. A federal amendment is the only way we can protect marriage from liberal, unelected judges.